It's Monday and it's time for Motivational Monday. Can you do that? <laughs> Very good. Here's my Timmy. Say hi, Timmy. Hi. <laughs> you can do your video. Okay, so Timmy's next to me. He's doing his little um computer video uh, while I do mine too. All right, guys. So today we will be talking about support. Now, many of us, we we love the fact that we know that God supports us. We know that God is with us. He is for us. He says he will never leave us nor forsake us. And we take joy in that. And we hold on to our faith during testing times and trials where we feel as though we're alone in something. And we're like, if I don't have nobody, I know I got God. I know God is with me and I know God is for me. So we feel that support from God. And then we try our best to surround ourselves with people who are a support system for us. We want to have those good friends and those great family members that we feel support from. And so we work hard to keep those people close to us so that we can feel supported. So we have God supporting us. We have our friends and family supporting us. But are we supporting ourselves? Are we being intentional about our thoughts about ourselves? Or are we finding ourselves where many find themselves, myself included, are we finding ourselves having a lot of negative self thoughts, negative thoughts towards ourself? And when you do that, you are causing yourself to not feel supported right at home. And I mean, like right here by yourself with no one else involved, you're already starting at a deficit. If you are having negative self thought, you start your day at a deficit because you are already feeling as though you're not good enough, things are too much for you, you're so uncertain with things. Um, and it's really important for us to have that positive self-talk where we can encourage and uplift ourselves so that throughout the day, if no one says you're great, if no one is giving you claps, no one's double tapping your stuff, if no one is being um, showing up and being in your corner with you, if you're struggling in your faith and you're unsure if God is with you, know that he is, even if you don't feel like he always is because that's the kind of guy he is. But if you're finding yourself struggling, it's important for you to first acknowledge that, hey, no matter what I'm feeling, what emotional state I am, I am in, no matter what mental state I'm in, I know that God is with me and he is for me. And then you have to work on, we, we have to work on having those positive self thoughts and that positive self image and being able to speak a word to ourselves and encourage ourselves because what you hear most throughout the day is your own thoughts. And so you'll find yourself trapped in your thoughts. And what is it that you're saying about yourself? What is it that you're saying to yourself? What I found is that oftentimes we require, we desire, we want, and we need, and we expect things from others that we're not yet willing to do for ourselves. We want people to respect us. We want people to be kind to us. We want people to love us. We want people to support us. We want people to encourage us. We want people to affirm us. And yet we are not doing those things for ourselves. How can I expect you to love me if I'm not yet loving myself? Because if I don't love myself, I don't even know how to communicate to you the kind of love that I desire and need. If I'm not being kind to myself, how is it that I can expect you to be kind to me when I'm not kind to me? And so that when you do disrespect me, I'm not even aware of it because I'm doing the same thing that you're doing to myself. So it's very important for us to start at home. That When I say start at home, start with yourself. You want love, you want respect, you want kindness, you want support, you want to be affirmed, you want to, be, uh, to feel validated. Do that for yourself first. Encourage yourself first. And so that's what I want us to focus on this week. And when I say us, I really do mean us because I found myself the other day. I was having a lot of negative self thoughts and I was like, hold up, hold up. No, nah, we're not going to do that no more. We're not going to do that. We're going to encourage ourselves. We're not going to start our day at a deficit already counting ourselves out. We're going to encourage ourselves. Start our day let's say, on the good foot. We're going to start our day off right and by having positive self thoughts. So this week, I want you to include yourself in being a part of your support system. Be your, uh, people say be your own cheerleader, be that person in your corner. 
Tell yourself you can. Tell yourself you got this. Tell yourself that you are strong enough, that you are smart enough, you are more than enough, that you are meant to be in the places that you are in. When I talk about like, you know, in the workplace, you're meant to be a person that has a seat at the table. You're meant to be a leader. You're meant to be someone who is not afraid to speak up and speak out on the behalf of others and yourself. That you are someone that is well equipped to do the task that you have ahead of you this week. That you are someone who is worthy of love, of honor, of kindness and respect. Talk to yourself and tell yourself how handsome you are, how beautiful you are, how intelligent you are, how gifted you are, that God loves you so much. He's called you his beloved, his workmanship, that Jesus Christ said, I'm willing to lay down my life for you. The Holy Spirit said, I am so excited to make you my dwelling place. This week, be a part of your support system. Support you, because I'm telling you, you are well worth it.